Cool. All right. Uh, let's go to listener Tom here who has a question about Monterey. He says, I have an older Mac of 5K Retina mid-2015, and uh, it, continu- it continues to serve all my needs. I would like to move from Big Sur to Monterey, which requires an iMac late 2015 or newer. I'm looking for your guidance, experience, direction on moving to a non-Apple-supported version of macOS on my current iMac. I'm concerned about things like future macOS point updates, application support, new capability limitations, performance, etc. I don't want to get caught. Are there any reputable online sources that I could use to install the unapproved versions of Monterey on my uh, unsupported Mac. He says, I do expect to purchase the first large screen iMac version that has an uh, ARM based, you know, M series chip, whatever that's going to be called when it becomes available, hopefully not too much longer of a wait. So, uh, uh, I've never had it. I've been tempted to head down the path of installing unsupported or, you know, an, uh, the latest at Mac OS on an unsupported older Mac that I have. Right. And I've looked into it, uh, and there are online sources with plenty of information and, you know, help and all of that stuff. But all of the things you mentioned, Tom, the, you know, point updates, breaking things, applications not running right because they're expecting libraries to work that don't because your Mac doesn't have the hardware to support them. Uh, you know, any new other new capability limitations, all, literally all of the things you mentioned, including performance are the reasons that I've always stopped in my tracks. It's like, yeah, you can often do it. I don't know that I've seen anybody doing it for Monterey yet, but I also haven't looked. So it's possible they're out there already. And they probably are figuring out how to, how to make this work. But you know, Apple doesn't generally choose to make a Mac or make an operating system unsupported on a given Mac arbitrarily. Usually there is a specific reason, you know, like when, when there were all those machines whose graphic cards didn't support metal. And then when the operating system required metal, that was the day that you couldn't run the new operating system on, you know, on those Macs and those Macs were still plenty fast, but they just didn't have hardware uh, that that metal supported and, you know, Apple was moving forward and needed to be able to leverage all those technologies. And so they did. Uh, it, but th- those are generally the reasons why your machine's not supported anymore. It's it's it. I've rarely seen it where I would say, well, that feels like a, a money grab. Right. I, it does, It's never really felt that way. It's been more of a technology limitation. And and so I think if even if you can make it work, you're going to wind up with a. You know, you know me, I like living on the bleeding edge, but that just felt like more headache than I wanted to inherit to just to run a computer. 